Welcome, Welcome to Storytime story with Max and Max's mom, the yeah, artist formerly known as Candace. <laughs> I almost got it in there. I'm the artist formerly known as Candace, and this is Max. Welcome to Storytime. What is our joke today, Max? What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? Um, I don't know. Where's popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good one. Where's popcorn? So, welcome to story time. What is our story for today? Story time with Max and Max's mom is Ferdinand. Ferdinand. We love Ferdinand. Now, this book was turned into a movie. They're nothing alike. But Max was gifted this book by a dear friend of ours, Miss Erlo. And it is one of those books that we love and it teaches us some really awesome lessons. So let's jump right into Ferdinand with story time with Max and Max's mom. You ready? The story of Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain. So we're going to Spain. There was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. Look at him. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Look how peaceful and happy Ferdinand looks right there. He's just sitting there smelling the flowers and observing or watching what everyone else is doing. Sometimes his mother, who is a cow, will worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. And that's a good concern for a mama to have. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like sitting. I like it better here, where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. So I have a question for you. Put your thinking cap on. Thinking cap on. Thinking brain activated. Thinking brains activated. Is there an activity that you like to do that other people don't like to do, but you are peacefully and happy, you're peaceful and happy doing it? For me, it is kind of just sitting and listening to music and not always music that you like to hear. What's something you enjoy doing that makes you very happy, but it's not something other people like doing? Um, eating broccoli. <laughs> eating broccoli, and it makes you happy. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> I like broccoli too. Um, let's go back to our story and let's see what's next. Mm -hmm. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. Mm, what do you think is gonna happen? As the years went by, Ferdinand grew until he was grew and, and grew. grew. Yeah. Until he was very big and very strong. I want us to look at this. This is where Ferdinand started. He went one month, one, three months, one year. Now it's been two years. And look how big Ferdinand is. So I have another question. Thinking cap on. Thinking caps on. Thinking brain activated. Thinking brains activated. Do you think, and this is a question for you, do you think Ferdinand has changed? Has he become like all the other bulls that like to run and fight and butt heads? <sighs> or, or is he still Ferdinand that likes to sit underneath the cork tree and smell the flowers? I don't want you to tell me the answer. I want you to think in your brain and let's see what the story says. All right, what happens? All the other bulls who had grown in, up with him in the same pasture all day, would fight each other all day. They would butt each other 
and stick each other with their horns. But what they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. In Madrid. Oh, let's see. Oh, look at all these big bulls. And I want you to notice something, everyone that's watching. They have injuries from sticking and fighting and hurting themselves, but they still wanted to be in the big bullfight. They had goals, but not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. Here we go, let's see what happens next. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. Now, we know from our other picture, there were four really big bulls that really want to fight in this fight. And then there is Ferdinand. So let's see who gets picked for the bullfights. All the other bulls who ran around snoring and butting leaping and jumping so the men would think that they were very strong and fierce and pick them. Hmm. Here's our thinking moment. All the other bulls did that. What do you think Ferdinand did? Let's see. What did Ferdinand do? Ferdinand knew they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care. So he went to his favorite cork tree to sit down. All right, this is a definite thinking moment. We have this picture, there are no words. Let's stop. Thinking cap on. Thinking caps on. Thinking brain activated. Thinking brain activated. What do you think is gonna happen? Let's go back to the screen. What do you think is going to happen? We see a bee sitting there and what appears to be a tail. What is going to happen? He didn't look where he was sitting. And instead of sitting on the nice cool dress, grass. grass in the shade, he sat on a, a bumblebee. Oh, and well. If, and if you were a bumblebee, if and you, a bull sound you, what would he do? He you would sit him! And that is just what the bee did to Ferdinand. He, oh, look at Ferdinand's face! All right, Max, we sat down on a bee. Let's pretend we're scooting back, we're getting ready to get comfortable, and... <gasps> okay, really quick, thinking cap. Thinking brain activated. Thinking brain activated. What do you think Ferdinand did? He just sat on a bee. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. And the bee stung him. What is going to happen next? Wow! Did it hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort and he ran around puffing and snorting and butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. Super crazy. Super crazy. Crazy. The five men saw him and they shouted with joy. Whoa. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. Oh boy, what wow. happens next? <gasps> so they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. Hmm, I have a thinking question, so put your cap on. Thinking cap on. Thinking brain activated. Thinking brain activated. How do you think Ferdinand is feeling right now? Sad. He was taken from his home. He didn't really want to participate in the bullfight. The only reason he was doing it is because he got stung and went crazy. So Max, how do you think Ferdinand is feeling right now? Sad. A little sad. And maybe, and maybe, um, wishing that he 
had sat somewhere else. Because if he hadn't sat on the beam, it wouldn't have happened. He's replaying the event. Let's see if you are right. Let's go back to the story and see what happens with Ferdinand. What a day it was. Flags flying, bands were playing, and the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. Uh-oh, what happens next? <gasps> they had a parade to the boys. First came the bandoleros with sharp, long, sharp pins with the ribbons on them to stick the bull and make him mad. Yeah, yeah. Next came the picadors who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick the bull and make him madder. Hey, hey, that sound very nice. Aww. Then came the matador, the proudest of them all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword that was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Hi okay, then came the bull. And you know who that was, don't you? Pause, I want us all to say his name together. Are you ready? Yep. For three. three? Two, one, Ferdinand. Look at his little face. There's Ferdinand sticking his head out into the ring. Hello. Oh, they called him Ferdinand the Fierce. And all the bandoleros were afraid of him and the picadors were afraid of him. The matador was scared stiff. Now, wait a minute. They all had swords Sword. and sticks, sticks and more sticks and spears to poke Ferdinand. But they were afraid of him because he was bigger than them. Question, should you always be afraid of someone that's bigger than you? No. No, you can't judge a book by its cover. We don't know what that guy is going to act like. Let's see what happens. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. Here's another moment. Really quickly, are you ready? Thinking cap on. Thinking caps on. Quick, thinking brain activated. Thinking brain activated. What do you think he's going to do? What do you think that Ferdinand is going to do? He's gone into this ring that he doesn't want to be in, and they are ready to stick and poke him. And this is a question for you. Think about it. What do you think Ferdinand is going to do when he gets in this ring? Let's see. But not Ferdinand. Mm -mm. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers in all the lovely ladies' hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. <sighs> Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Ferdinand loves flowers and all these beautiful women have flowers in their hair and I bet it <sighs> smells amazing. Let's see what happens because he just sat down and said, I'm going to enjoy the flowers because they smell pretty. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. smelled. And the bandoleros were mad and the picadors were madder and the matador was so mad. He cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> he cried because he couldn't show off. Um, well, and Ferdinand was show just, off. he couldn't show off. Oh, well. And they took Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. The end. Oh my goodness. So this is such an awesome story. 
they expected because he was big and burly and looked strong that he was going to fight like put him up let's go let's go next time I really, put him up put him up but what did Ferdinand say did he say come on come on what did he do Max nope he just sat there and smelled like he didn't even know he didn't care because he was enjoying what he wants which brings us to our quote of the day because it is what the inscription that Miss Furlow who gave us this book wrote in the book and it is the true message of Ferdinand. Max, can you read our quote of the day? Quote of the day. Always be true to yourself. Be you! Ferdinand didn't try to be like the other bulls just because they thought he should. He was a flower-loving, peace and smelling, happy, chill, level bull. Yeah, that's all he wanted. So, just because someone expects you to behave a certain way, should you? No. You should be true to who you are. So be yourself. Because guess what? Being you is awesome. There's only one you. There's only one me in this whole world. And you bring something unique to the world, and the world needs you. So that is our story for today. Ferdinand. The book of A story of Ferdinand. Tree. And be true to yourself. Thank you for joining us for story time. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye-bye.